God is in the story, weaving a beautiful tapestry for His glory. What do you do when only loss is before you? When you prayed for justice and righteousness to prevail and you see none of it unfold? Habakkuk wrestled with this reality, and this is what he learned. Though the fig tree does not bud, and there are no grapes on the vines, though the olive crop fails, and the fields produce no food, though there are no sheep in the pen, and no cattle in the stalls, yet I will rejoice in the Lord, I will be joyful in God my Savior. Habakkuk chapter 3 verse 17 to 18. Barrenness, devastation, and utter loss, the marks of suffering were before him. But what did Habakkuk do? He chose to rejoice. God gave him the wisdom to rejoice. And when he rejoiced, a most curious thing happened. In the last verse of chapter 3, God turns things around for Habakkuk such that the prophet confidently declares, The Sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. My friends, God is not slow to keep His promise. He will surely deliver you from what you're going through right now. But it matters to God how we deal with the loss or injustice we're facing. You who have been redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, you who have been justified in His sight, you who are a child of God, and you who are a citizen of heaven, what does the Lord call you to do? Rejoice! Hello friends, happy Friday morning here on Mango Mornings with your host, Bernie, Pastor JB, and yours truly, Aya. What a beautiful and uh, grace-filled morning yeah. indeed. We welcome you to episode number 73, mm. Friday Stories with our guest, uh, Lang Kun, mm. all the way from Cambodia, uh, and he's staying here in Davao with his family for the meantime. So mm -hmm. we will learn more about him later on and all the victories that the Lord caused in his life. But first, we want to greet all of our radio listeners and all of our viewers tuning in here on Mango Morning. So, yes. kumusta? Mayong kumusta? Kumusta ang week? Malalim na buntag. Rugapon sa wal kita, no? You missed us already? <laughs> so it's been a busy week for all of us, no? Extra uh, activities, mm. uh, especially sa so medical-related na mga errands. Yes. Tungod kay... Ang amokong kauban din, he, si Kuya Nathan. Mm. Yes, that's um, true. Uh, unfortunately, he met an accident. Diyan na nakalikayan. Nakalikayan. <laughs> accident. Uh, Digo na makalikayan. Makalikayan. Mix ko pwede pa na din siya accident. Lagi. So, um, I think we would like to take this opportunity to pray for him. No, he's scheduled yes. for surgery tomorrow. Mm -mm. And God willing, no, maging successful ang surgery sa iyahang calcaneus. That's the tikod ni na ginatawag nila no, sa ato ang tiil. Mm -mm. And uh, I fracture, so kailangan siya uh, operahan yun. Okay. So, uh, remember him in prayer. Si Kuya yes. Nathan. And the family as well. Mm -hmm. Particularly the wife, no, because Sarah, she will be taking care of uh, more responsibilities aside from the kids. Yes. Yeah, pray for the boys as well. They have mm -hmm. two boys. So mm -hmm. we pray for healing, for comfort, and uh, for the grace of the Lord to abound, especially during this time as Kuya Nathan uh, 
heels mm-hmm. on our Friday stories, which is an opportunity for us to not, not just spend time with our guests for a few minutes, but definitely pro- practically the whole program mm-hmm. as we listen to their stories of how God has met them. And definitely God continues to be with them as they live out their lives to make Jesus known. Mm-hmm. And of course, our guest for today is not an alien, basically, to the sharing of the gospel because he has been doing this for several years and um, he also met his wife because of uh, missionary activities. Mm -hmm. And he's not a Filipino native, no, his wife is. Mm -hmm. But he is from the country of Cambodia and he is here today to share with us his story of how he met Jesus. Everybody, let us welcome from uh, Youth with a Mission or YWAM. Let's welcome our brother, Leng Kun. Good morning, brother. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing really good. Good. Very good. And um, of course, this will not be your first Filipino morning. <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You've been here for a while. And um, is just a quick question. Is there a similarity between uh, the two countries, like weather-wise or people and culture-wise? Uh, Filipino culture is like really, really good. Mm. Like good hospitality. Mm. And I would say sunrise is beautiful. Wow, Aww. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Very that's nice. good to know. Wow, so that's something, eh? Anyway, speaking about uh, Lang's experience, of course, the question that I need to ask is this. How did you meet Jesus? Because we are curious. Yeah. It's 2007, I started to... During that time, I studied uh, high school. Because mm. mm. I... In Cambodia, because we just growing up, like we coming back from war. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Usually, it's not only us. Majority around us huh. is is poor. Mm-hmm. When I'm growing up, we don't have enough food to eat, mm-hmm. and school it need to be required a little bit higher. Mm. That we it's it's a bit hard to mm-hmm. afford it. Okay. But my mom, she loved, she believed that study only the way that can change the family tree. That's mm. why she always encouraging us, challenging us to go into school. Mm. Even though she had to work more because like all the kids have to go into school mm-hmm. and she had to work uh, extra work for, to cover, to supporting the supporting family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the key thing it's have a group of Christian that they be in the same class with me. Mm. And one time that I remember every every month we have to do a test. And every like able to do a test you have to buy a paper to do a grading to do a test or answer the question and answer. Mm-hmm. But you have to pay about I would say two peso. Uh, mm. That you need to pay it to able to buy that paper. Just one paper. For one paper. Two pesos. Yeah, two what? pesos. <laughs> okay, continue. That from That's expensive. That's very expensive. Because like we, they, during that time like, uh, pool and like equipment, everything like copy. Yeah. Ah. That that a little mm. bit difficult, right? Yes. Okay. And the teacher able to doing that that maybe. Is can be she can make some money, make a peso for a paper or something, uh. right? <laughs> That's kind of like yeah. So this teachers, is a, a sideline. Uh, yeah, <laughs> but I, I, the thing, I don't. When the test coming, if I don't have money to pay, I try. I'm not on try. I escaping for that hour. Mm. Uh huh. Not joining the test, mm. oh. and I do that again and again. Mm-mm. And when my friend, as Christian friend, just try to observe, or oh, Christian, they really good at observing. <laughs> <laughs> and when they observe it, they they realize they ask me a question: Why are you escaping the class? Like, through time to time, I kind of like, like because shy, I don't have money to pay mm, for so the paper. So you never paper. told anybody. I just like, mm. oh, I'm not good at tests, or oh, I'm not good mm. at this. I'm scared that I'm not doing well mm. on the test. But my friend say, no, I know who you are. 
I know you. You're doing good at school. You're doing really good. You're doing okay. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be passing the test. You're doing okay on the test. That's what they know. Mm. Cause we a bit friend. It's mm-hmm. kind of like not really hang out much, but mm-hmm. we we friend. We knowing each other. Mm-hmm. And my friend with, and and they they say oh they say like that make me feel like comfortable. Mm. They know who I am. Yeah. I start to open it to share that I escape that hour. Because I don't have money to paying for my my paper to yeah. do a test, Mm-mm. and my friends start to say, "Hey, if you don't have money anymore, do not escaping the class anymore, escaping the test time anymore. Mm. You be in there, I will pay it for you." Mm. Wow. wow, so kind. That's that's really touching my heart. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like I have I have all the Buddhist friend. Mm-hmm. I grow up in a Buddhist family. Mm. Those friends, they always, if you're doing good, we be a friend. If you're not doing good or you don't have enough money or mm. anything, no, you have money, you have anything, that we can be a friend, we hang out together. Mm. Mm. But a Christian friend is a bit different. You mm. don't have anything, we still a friend. Mm. Mm. Even though you have any, you have something, we still a friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Doesn't matter how, they, they're not looking what you have. That's yes. what I think, I learned. Mm. Mm. But they looking and value who you are. Mm. Yes, true. Nice. That is, I like, caught my heart mm. mm-hmm. to see, wow, Christian, they have something special. Mm. I want to know about Christian more. Mm. So because of that experience, you were curious about Christianity, Christianity in yeah. general. Yeah. And then what happened? Uh, what led you to meeting Jesus Christ? And. On and on, I hang out with those friends, mm. and I'm going to church. Mm. But in my journey, going to church, but I'm going back with the Buddhist friend. Okay. I gossip about Christian, how Christian <laughs> doing. Oh, oh. You know, it's kind of like it's a good kind you're of gossip. You're a spy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, cause like, cause kind of like to be a. Uh, it's what to be say. I would say I I I want to be blend in. Mm. Mm. Because I know that Christian is good. Mm. I want to learn. I want to know, but I don't want to take their God as my God. Ah. Mm. Because I believe I, I, I raised and growing up in very very strong Buddhist, mm. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. and and the I think like from my my grandfather, he always go into a temple to be a monk a season, mm-hmm. and my father he be in a temple for a monk mm. uh, 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 like season yes. before he get m- married to my mom too uh. that's like what they practice that means it's it it's not usual it's mm. strong mm. Okay. yeah it's a family root okay mm. that's like everybody know who we are uh. mm. so we, okay we like really mm. i think like good practice mm. of oh. buddhist Mm-mm. and it's kind of like if i take buddhist and the people will reject me That's what I feel like. That's why I, it's kind of like two feet. Being a Christian, be a good friend with them, mm. talk good. Be a Buddhist, kind of like pretend to be like rejecting them. Mm. That's what I. <laughs> that's what I do. Mm-mm. But it's one one time mm. that I'm going to church, and after that, my mom say, "Oh, we have a lot of work. I know that you work. You go into school. You helping the work." Mm. And you should have some time rest. The church is start at one o'clock mm. to two o'clock. That the time that we rest from doing farming, uh, mm-hmm. yes. harvesting, or planting. That all that time is hard. Mm-hmm. And my mom said you should rest. You not need to go to church anymore before we go into bed. And I feel like something missing if I don't go into church mm-hmm. mm. during that time. We we don't have like electricity light yet. Mm-hmm. We using candle, and we like you know kill the <laughs> candle. I have a little bit s- small like phone like Nokia or something like that can <laughs> have a light to shine. Oh in. yeah, ah. so the qwerty, yeah, yeah, the keypad. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's like that very old one. <laughs> and and it's like when I'm going to bed, I just you know it's like. You don't have lights on your phone. Just shining the lights, more like yes. walking to the bed uh. on that time. And when I lay down, 
like before that I'm crying to the Lord that really that I'm not feel like right if I'm not going to the church mm. Mm. and during that time I pray Lord if you love me that you should show in yourself to me mm. that in proof that you will love me mm. that I will go into church or like I, I don't know I don't know what to say I mm-hmm. young I don't know what I really much about Jesus mm, mm. like really really like new faith I just pray Lord if you love me mm. show it to me uh. tell me somehow that you love me mm. and when I'm laying down I hold in my phone pick it up I was in the text message mm. in the screen it say I love you mm. it's kind of <laughs> like from the tear is coming out <laughs> sweat like yeah. really I I growing up in the Buddhist. I uh. pray million million time. I ask <laughs> million thing, <laughs> but never happen. Mm. Uh. But when I ask Jesus in a time that I'm not feeling right, uh. mm. He said, "You love me. If you love me, you are real God." That's what the time my heart is mm. mean mention uh. uh. that He show Himself uh-uh. to me. Mm. Mm. Like in in the text message, just like explain a little. In text message. If you're writing something and you're living in there, you're going out, maybe you went in, you still see the writing, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. But I say, impossible. Jesus talking to me. Mm-hmm. Never happened in my life. Like 17 years already, never happened in Buddhist. Mm. No one talking to me like that. Uh-huh. Mm. <laughs> I, I, it's like, it's had doubt in my life that in that time, in mm-hmm. that moment. But I leave the message When I went in back, it's just like all gone. Wow. The word is gone. Uh. Just appeared in the time that I want to see it. Then Ooh. take my doubt away. It just must be Jesus. Mm. He must be real. Uh. He must be God. Uh. Mm. Amen. That's my doubt. I take it out. Then that time that I give it my life to him, say whatever it is, however you call me to be, I will follow you the rest of my life. Wow, amazing! That's a amazing. miracle. Yeah, it is supernatural. Yes, <laughs> very good. Indeed, you did not have the Apostle Paul road to Damascus kind of encounter, and you see a <laughs> blinding light. Even better, textmate nya si Jesus. Textmate, yes. <laughs> and then, of course, it was a blinding light in a sense because it was dark, and then you can only see the flashlight, right? Oh, kind of light, like, yeah. Kind oh, of yeah, light, yes. <laughs> and then instead of. Uh, Asking the question, why are you persecuting me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He said, "I love you." Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. that is so nice. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> After that uh, event, uh, so you met Jesus Christ, uh, offered your life uh, to Him fully for yeah. service. So, how did you end up with the ministry where you are at mm-hmm. right now? Yeah, why, why, why? Well, and the changes. But before that, uh, were your parents welcoming of you becoming a believer? Uh, yeah. not oh. really much. They don't, because like like I mentioned before, that my family is like influencing, well known in mm. that community. Mm. They have a really good name. Okay. And until now, <laughs> my mom and my siblings not believe in Jesus yet, mm. Mm. but in the way. In the way that a little bit they persecute me and they question all the time when we have the family union, family mm. gathering yeah. or anything, they always question me why I'm doing this, why I'm doing that, why are you serving Jesus? Mm. Mm-hmm. Because I have a neighbor uh, near my house. It's kind of like a little bit relative, like long distant relative. Mm. Mm. They they believe in Jesus. Mm. They just focus on their work, their job. And God keeping, I see them that God keeping prospering them. Mm-hmm. They can, they, they can have what does the world have, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And then my mom would say, "Hey, you a Christian too? Mm. Why you not do it like them?" Mm. They point their finger like all the time, like yeah. always discussing, always explaining. Mm-hmm. But I would say, say I say, mom, not everybody called to be a Buddhist monk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I call him to be a Christian monk. Uh-huh. <laughs> it was like the way that I explained it to her. Mm. I I don't want it to be like that, to living like this, mm-hmm. like very limitation. Mm. 
mm-hmm. life to serving him i don't want it mm-hmm. if i choose as my flesh yeah i will be a businessman mm-hmm. i make mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. or maybe i will support other but i i know deep down in my heart doesn't matter i support million christian or i giving a lot of donation to other people mm-hmm. but that's not my call mm-hmm. the lord that called me into this world mm. that's not my task mm. Mm. i have to receive it embrace it and i have to believe it this is my call mm. Mm. i call to be a missionary mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to wow. serving him full time mm. is that part of so returning to pastor jb's question did ywam when you entered ywam uh did ywam help you in shaping that kind of conviction and standing firm that hey this is my call i will not turn to the left or to the right but i will move straight forward and say lord i will keep following you in this path so how did you how did you enter this organization or how did that that path open in i would say share a little bit of story a little bit mm. long too in when i become when i hear from the lord that he called me in isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 mm. during that time and i prayed two things lord i want to serve you mm. but i don't want i don't have time to wait to study in the bible school mm. okay that's my prayer mm-hmm. it's not someone study in a bible school it's wrong no mm. mm-hmm. it's not wrong nothing wrong yeah but it's my my prayer because I want to see the Lord different. I believe that the Lord can equip me in different way mm-hmm. than going to the Bible school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I pray two things. Number one, I want to know you clearly, know you more, who you are. Because mm-hmm. I'm a young Christian and I get in, hearing a call in a young Christian way. Mm. I don't know. During that time, I, maybe I pray, thank you, Lord, for the food I'm struggling already to pray. Okay? <laughs> okay. And number two, I say, I want to start to know your word, how I become to be a pastor or minister mm. that I don't know your word. Mm. Mm. But I don't want to study four years in the Bible school, cannot wait to serve in you. Mm. Maybe you're sending the way that I can study the Bible is so short uh. in a short way mm. uh-huh. that knowing your word enough that can serve in this nation or to be a pastor or to be mm-hmm. a missionary. Mm. And when I'm going to join the Bible school, uh, YWAM, they call Just with a Mission. Yes. It's all about making to knowing God and another part, like all about knowing God, no identity in Christ, mm. know where, where you're born, where you come from. Yeah. It's all about it. And another part that, 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 that focus on three months, and after three months, that going out to share the gospel. Hmm. That's mm. about knowing knowing God mm-hmm. and know who you are and going to make other know mm. nice and during I study that that Bible school uh, like uh, DTS it's called DTS mm-hmm. discipleship training school I hear the first time that do biblical Bible study mm. for nine months mm-hmm. only nine months you study entire Bible Mm. the whole bible whoa and the way that they do it biblical bible study you have to read the bible at least one book five times oh and you do a lot of homework mm. okay nine months study entire bible at least five times in one book mm. wow like at least or i read more than that to be able to understand the bible yeah maybe i read seven times or ten times mm. you read this in um Khmer. in Khmer. Oh. Mm-hmm. that's that's all about that my prayer it meet in why mm. that's my journey begin to mm. serving the lord i get what i asked for and now i serving him mm. amen nice and uh, to follow it up though because you said that you have to read uh, one book of the Bible at least five times. At least five times. Now, which among the books yes. that you've read is your most favorite and yeah. least favorite? <laughs> I I think the book that I like, I like Hebrew. Mm. Mm. I like yeah. Hebrew. Yes. And and number two is like 
very very small book Philemon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. only one page yes but <laughs> I learning a lot uh. through that book mm-hmm. very small but very very powerful mm-hmm. book so as you responded to Jesus call and equipped yourself for in preparation for the service that you will offer to God um, were there resistance from your family members or criticism that what are you doing you're not supposed to be there <laughs> <laughs> oh I would say in the beginning I know I follow my heart or I believe in in the calling but I don't have any it's explanation like mm. explaining mm-hmm. uh-huh. I don't know how to explaining yeah to my family uh-huh. to other people that that ask me the same question a lot of Christian too asking me uh, the same question mm. right yeah because mm. they say why are you living that way mm. you you well educate you yes. smart uh. yes. you can do something else yes mm. Mm. that's what the people always mm. say mm. why are you <laughs> choosing to living in the life like depend on the Lord mm. Mm. waiting for the Lord to supporting you or pro- provided for you yeah that's like but time is teaching you you mm. know that you're doing something right mm. that's what in the beginning you know something right you're doing something right but mm. you don't know how to explain yeah but it step by step that's what I've been asking the Lord to when they asking question I asking to the Lord mm. how did I answer to to them mm. and until now I get I think I get more answer mm-hmm. more answer at giving to them mm-hmm. that make them to be like yeah make sense mm-hmm. what are you doing mm-hmm. but lately lately I I just realized this and I will share this to you about in come in in why one I don't know with a uh, other organization mm-hmm. or other YWAM places mm-hmm. but in YWAM that in Cambodia my leader they are really good mm-hmm. one thing that I, I say I want to working with YWAM because of this reason I want to giving DNA that allowed the staff able to talking to a top leader mm-hmm. maybe they no, I, I, I don't know. I never working with the church, never working with the NGO, uh. mm-hmm. never working with the business. I just mm-hmm. like finished high school, joining on a mission. Mm-hmm. That's it what I have. Oh. And, and I see this. Why why they have a DNA that even though you are lower staff, if you want to talking to the leader, or maybe you want to, to correct the leader, mm-hmm. they allowed you and they listening to you. Mm. I, I'm not mean they will take it all your advice or your idea, mm. but they giving you time to listening to. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's what the DNA that I want to everybody coming to Y1 mm-hmm. to do a training, equipping. Maybe they become to be a businessman, mm. uh. allow their staff to talk to them. Their business will be prosper, mm. I believe, mm. because the staff will have an ownership. I continue yeah. this yes. and I have boy I gonna work mm-hmm. for this company for this organization for anything mm. and I, that, that's what I want to breathe the mm-hmm. DNA into Cambodian mm-hmm. or into the people that I've been able in to mm-hmm. giving opportunity you can yeah. share whatever you want it's not mean I have to get in your idea mm. to take it everything right Mm-hmm. But at least I give you time. I listening to you, yeah. mm-hmm. and I will ask the Lord. That's it. Time that we can act it, your idea, mm-hmm. or say wait, maybe later, or maybe it's not the right idea mm-hmm. that we want to pursue. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a very good kind of culture and healthy actually in the body of Jesus Christ because we are all supposed to work together yeah. and have been gifted by the Lord in various ways, uh, uniquely mm-hmm. and individually. And we will talk more about that uh, in your 
um, role as a youth leader in YWAM. And uh, you have been working with them for quite a while. Yeah. So we will talk about the challenges and all the things that you have to uh, change in your life so that you will become effective in the ministry where God called you. Meanwhile, we'll pause for a break and listen to New World Sons' There Is A Way, a song that reminds us that uh, nothing is impossible with Jesus Christ. Wow. Amen. Amen. On Mango Mornings, Amen. on Mango Radio, we are communicating the love of God. You say love is just a word, just four letters in a row, just a thing that people say, or they never tell you so. And you used every excuse to let nobody in. Now this cloud you bring around has become your only friend. And everybody's saying that it's gonna go away, but it don't go. And everybody's telling you one day it's gonna change, but you don't know if it's really gonna end. But there is a way, there is a spark, there is a hope that you can hold on to. There is a lifeline, come to the rescue, just like a hand that's waiting for you. If he came to bring you home You think you're all alone Gotta do it on your own Riding solo Is there someone you can call When you stumble and fall Cause you don't know If you'll be getting up again But there is a way There is a spark There is a hope that You can hold on to There is a lifeline waiting for you and if you believe in this I promise that you won't be alone there is a way the truth and the life and the way don't you think your life's worth saving don't you know that love's amazing don't you want to lay your troubles down If I thought love was just a word, I might feel the same way too. But it's so much more than that, and it's waiting here for you. There is a way, there is a spark, there is a hope that you can hold on to. There is a lifeline, come to the rescue, just like a hand that's waiting for you. And if you One of the most important truths you can be grateful for is that God has promised to never leave you. He is always by your side. That's why it is important to remember this. 
No matter how difficult the circumstances may seem around you, don't give up. God is for you, and He is bigger than any trouble you may be facing. A simple reminder from Manga Radio, communicating the love of God. Hello, thank you for tuning in to Mango Radio. Amazing Grace on Mango Mornings. Well, at 7.52, you're still listening to Mango Mornings, the Friday edition. And my name is Bernie, together with Aya and Pastor JB. Hello. We definitely have a special guest with us. His name is uh, Brother Leng Kun. He's from Cambodia mm. and off the air, we've been sharing about, uh, you know, his own cultural uh, experiences and definitely uh, how he, of course, uh, met Jesus, which was very, yeah. very interesting. Mm. And... Um, a text message. Wow, very modern. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, God uses ev- anything and everything that He can so that He can bring the message across. That Amen. Definitely, Jesus will be made known. Amen. Now, it's an opportunity for us also to greet our messages, mm. or rather to read our messages from our listeners who've sent us their messages. And let's do that. Okay, I can't read. <laughs> it's too far away. <laughs> <laughs> Jason so Pasibok is uh, first of our uh, commenters. Good morning now. Uh, Granny Christy, praise the Lord for this another wonderful new day. Glory to God. Anna Tabukan, good morning. And uh, thank God it's uh, Friday now. Happy Mother's Day mm. to all. Uh, Arnel Raluya, good morning. Mango Radio, especially to DJ Bernie, Pastor JB, and DJ Aya. Jeremiah yeah, Lopez. from Sambuanga. Uh huh. Reynaldo Valdez, blessed Friday, Lord Jesus, thank you for this new day, new hope, and new strength. Amen. Hello to Ate Babes, a godly morning, everyone watching from uh, Catalunan Grande. Yeah. Uh, Darwin Aguelo, kay naga paminao uh, and naga tanao no, from Polomolok. Wow. Salamat okay, Good morning. Mm-hmm. Ingat kuya Darwin. Yes. LV Divina Gracia, good morning to all. Happy Mother's Day to all beautiful, strong mothers listening. Ah. And mm-hmm. uh, shout out to all the members of Sodium City Church coming from Ate Babes. Yeah. And Rosalinda Kimton, what a beautiful testimony. God bless you, brother. Ah. Uh, hello also to my parents. Kakapasok uh, lang na comment. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Good morning also to Brother Jake Barsenas. As per usual, he greets us a very beautiful day. And also, uh, greetings to Cousin and Newfound friends and definitely the people over there at Mass Pro. Hello and good morning also to Pastor Tom Arellano. And I know that it's quite busy, especially in these days. No, So many activities and celebrating, of course, belated the seventh birthday. Wow. Ah. Wait, <laughs> seven, that seventh. The seventh. <laughs> uh, so, pwede nga, twenty-seventh. Uh, Hi. Messages. <laughs> mm, hello as well to the uh, Kuhn family and the Lehman family. Yo. To the kids of Vanya and Lang. Yes. All right. So, wala tayong mga ano, text message if you guys were wondering. Baka mamaya. Darating yan. <laughs> but for now, we wanna return to our guest and ask him, this question so we have learned about how his faith shaped the way that you decided to live your life and now you have been with ywam for so many years mm-hmm. how does your faith impact your profession i have a point that been talking and i think about it it's not been it's not been easy to you know, easy to draw and to do something else uh-huh. rather than a mission. Mm-mm. Because the people around you to say so, that you should do it. But but a point that I was uh, stooding out to me, work, choosing your gifted and your talent yeah. that God in putting to in you mm. to do it with all your whole heart yes mm. yeah but nothing nothing like it and also embrace the season that you are in because uh-uh. I, I maybe you working under say like example we I am working with just with a mission mm-hmm. I don't know that my season will be end mm-hmm. but I do it with my all my heart mm. uh-uh. 
and all my attitude that I doing this to glorify to God, Mm-mm. not to make my face look good, yes, or to make my name knowing. Yes, mm-hmm. it's okay they don't know me. Mm. It's okay, and they know Jesus. Amen. And another way that I would say, I do everything to make Jesus know. Yes. Doesn't matter. I cleaning toilet maybe sometime. Doesn't matter. Sometime I preparing the chair, mm. set up mm-hmm. the chair for other people. Or sometime I helping to cook or to doing anything. But as my heart is, I do it with my whole heart. Working, it's like with a whole heart. Mm. Because one thing that I know, even though no one see it, mm. no one see. Yes. But I know Jesus behind me. He watching yeah. and see my job, he see knows. my work. Yeah. He, he, he the one who judge me. Mm-hmm. And I the one we are facing him. Yes. It's not somebody else mm-hmm. that whatever I do, the mm-hmm. attitude that I do, that I serving him to make him know or or I faith it. Mm-hmm. He the one that judging me. He say, don't try to be a judge. I am a judge. <laughs> right? <laughs> Easily to be, okay, you're not doing enough or kind of like you, you're working with the NGO or mm-hmm. working at the workplace for a while it's kind of like you know everything mm-hmm. like most likely you know how, how it works mm-hmm. the, the word like you know everything you yeah. know how it works and how it to address mm-hmm. and easily maybe new stuff coming it's kind of like mm, really you want to change my the culture in here or you want to change you want a broad new thing coming up who are you to do that yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah I know oh, what I'm doing. Yeah, it's not like, easy to be. Everybody, I would say, everybody don't like to be changed. Mm. No one like to be changed. Mm. But if you're not changing, the word that that, that how how I learn, if you're not changing, you already die. Mm. Yes, very true. You're not changing. You're not growing. That means you're not growing. You're stagnant. You, you die. You die. Mm-hmm. Like, mm. life is full of challenges. Mm-hmm. But you embrace it, embrace life. Yes. Accept reality mm. and believing whatever gift, whatever talent that you, you've been, the task that the Lord been given to you, mm-hmm. you do it with your whole heart. Mm-hmm. Do not fake it. The word that I would say, the, the English word they would say, the, like proverb in, in America, I think, or maybe mm. some other place, like, fake it until you make it. Mm. Right? Uh-huh. They, they, they mm. like to say that, fake yeah. it until you make it. No, that is not a biblical way. Mm-hmm. And I would say, not a biblical way, don't say it. Because they like, can make your mind say, I'm, I'm playing around here. Mm. Right? Yeah. Not help you at all. Because it's not basing on biblical way. Yeah. But the word that I learning, I ask the Lord, Lord, I'm not feel comfortable with this. Mm-hmm. What the phrase that you give it to me, that it embrace my heart, mm. protecting my heart, yeah. and a biblical way. The Lord will say, "Commit it. I will complete it." Ah, oh, that is nice. Right. Yeah. Rather than you fake it. And until you make it, but you committed. You are Christian, like Jesus. He committed. He know what is ahead. Mm. He never try to blend in. Mm. No. It's mm. so hard in Jesus' time, right? Mm. The religion we say this, say that. Why you bring this? You still, you say you're the son of God, but yeah. you not honor the Father mm. or something mm. like that. They rejecting him, but he say no, no. I know what's my task, what is my job. Yeah. I committed to my work. Mm. Is it Jesus scared? Yeah, he is scared. The the last time that he in before he go into the cross, imagine he pray, he sweat 
yeah. become to be blood. Yes. I don't know how stressed it is mm. mm-hmm. in life. Must be super, super, super stressed Mm-mm. that your blood just stress and coming out like that. Just sweat become to be out like a blood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very stressed. Mm. But he know what he doing. He mm-hmm. committed. Mm-hmm. He committed whatever your f- the father, father let your will be done. Yes. On earth, it's not. How hard is it? Let your will be done on earth. Mm-hmm. That's what we, that are encouraging. All the listener, you commit. You committed. God will complete it. Yeah. And love what you're doing. Yes. And serve in the way that make. The Lord know in the area that God replacing you mm-hmm. and serving there, working in there, with the joy and the presence of the Lord, yeah. and the Lord will complete it, your task, and mm-hmm. He will be there for you, mm-hmm. and He the one that watching you. He all you doing good. All he right. always clapping yeah. the hand for mm-hmm. you. He always cheering you. Doesn't matter. Where you are, mm. no one see. He's in there. Remember, he's there. He be with you, and he's always cheering for you. Mm. Amen. So this kind of faith brought you to places and met a lot of people, and that includes Vanya, your wife, right yeah. now. So can you please uh, share with us, uh, maybe shortly, about how God. Um, arrange everything for you to meet and uh, develop this kind of relationship mm. and become partners in crime <laughs> you <laughs> said to commit Ooh. it and the lord will complete it yeah. so when uh, you saw vanya <laughs> you committed so, to yeah 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 was it so clear to you oh this is the woman this mm. is what i'm gonna do the lord will complete it mm. oh yeah a little bit tricky mm. with relationship but if you're choosing the right one, mm. you bless the rest of your life. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You waited for the one, okay? Uh, we're speaking to the people that long for relationship mm. or the people that run through in life with maybe you get married or you've been together, mm. but you feel like life is tough. Mm. Oh, relationship, your yeah, relationship is a mystery. You have to accept it and you commit it. But the thing that I want to share is I never have a girlfriend before I met one year. Mm. Ah. Zero girlfriend. Because <laughs> I, when I become to, be a, become to be a Christian and I told the Lord, Lord, I don't want to have any relationship until I am 27. Uh-huh. Mm. That time I will open the relationship. But it's kind of like during that journey, I, you know, you're working in a mission field, you feel lonely sometimes, mm-hmm. you're looking for someone, maybe you want to try it or mm-hmm. like try to get to know them, but it's not work out. That's mm-hmm. what I would say. Mm-hmm. When one year came, I asked the Lord, Lord, this woman is, is nice. <laughs> and I never have a girlfriend before. How? that I approaching her mm. how and I've been I've been honest I talking to my leader I say in the beginning before I'm talking to Vanya like very interacted or sharing my my heart to her Mm-mm. and I tell my leader already Mm-mm. share my leader and then they've been processed with me and they help me out and guiding Mm-mm. oh that's a healthy way Coaching. Yeah, coaching, yeah, coaching. <laughs> mm. Right. And but the the thing that I asking, Lord, is this the woman before I meeting my leader? It's like this is a woman that you given to me. What that I can look into? Because I never I've never known. Mm-hmm. But it's like the Lord will say, Lane, you look at to yourself who you are and you reflect who you are and to see it. If she have it, the gifted, the gift and the talent or like your heart, it, it aligning with each other. Yeah. Mm. 
when I looking, try to getting to know one year more and more, she love mission. Mm. That's what checklist. Okay. We love mission. I know that I gonna be in the mission field for mm. the rest of my life or mm. the season. But we say season. I don't know what a season will be end. Yeah. Maybe my life will be end before the season. The still mm. co- keep continue or what? Mm. But we love mission. We love to give. Mm. One year, my wife really love to give. She really generous mm. person that I know. Mm. Love to give, and she cry with the people we cry. Yes. That's like who I am. Mm. Like I will share you a story a little bit that I really like. Yes, this is the one. See, my wife is the midwife, right? Mm. Yeah. Like basic medical stuff. She know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She know what to do. Yeah. And one time, one of our friend in the we we in the mission field a trip. We walking so long, uh. right? And her feet is her toes become to be like hurt. Something mm. is like mm. growing yeah. in the toes and become to be hurt. It need to be clean it up mm. on everything. Need to helping her because become to be infection already. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. My wife and I been there and help her too, because I try to be close to her that I can watch <laughs> her. You know, <laughs> watching. <laughs> Yeah, watching, <laughs> and and during that time, that friend is kind of like when she clean it up, it's very painful. It start the friend become my friend. It become to be cry, mm-hmm. and my wife helping to cleaning, just wiping in tears. It's okay, almost done. It's okay, it's almost done. <laughs> that's like oh yeah, you have a soft heart when the people cry. That's the that's the thing, the thing that I I wanted. Mm. That I see it in you, that you ha- we have something that common mm-hmm. yeah. together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's I desire. Yeah, that's season one. If she okay to accept me, we will continue. Mm-hmm. I'm not looking for other 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 one, mm-hmm. other woman. Mm-hmm. That you the one, and I choosing you. Mm. That's it. We getting married. Everything going well. Mm. So how did you tell Vanya? Oh. I when when she finishing a school because in the school that uh, DTS is called di- uh, discipleship training school they mm. not allowed to have a relationship in the school. Mm. Number one, I am a staff. I have to obey the the law. Yeah. Number two, she's just a student. She mm-hmm. coming and then she going home. Mm-hmm. Maybe I never meet her again. Yeah. Mm. Right. My leader told me. If she coming back to the mission, maybe you can approaching her. Mm. Maybe mm. I hold it. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know, I like I hold it. I know that's the one that mm. God is gonna give it to me. Uh. Mm. But I like I I hold it. I'm not telling her. But <laughs> before she she coming back to Philippines for a few months before mm. she going back to take another school school mm. of minist- uh, school of mission, mm-hmm. and when she. Before she coming out, I just like taking her out for dinner, asking more question detail. Uh-huh. That's mm-hmm. what I want to know. Uh-huh. And why you like mission? Uh-huh. What is your heart? What's your background? Mm. Just, yeah. just get one know her more. Yeah. And she keep asking the question. Hey, you want to say something beyond of that or no? I say no. That's it. We just friend. <laughs> you are my student. Just. <laughs> finishing like no, it's just like she sensed something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She feels something. And just finishing, like dinner together with the the like we end the school together, end the journey with the school together for mm-hmm. for good, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> I will treat you with the dinner. It's okay. Just want to hear what's going on in the school and how you learn. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. Just I'm not tell her. Yeah, right. But uh, before <laughs> that, okay, before that, mm. a tricky. During the DTS, because I never have a girlfriend before, or I never approaching the people to asking for permission. During that time, I remember that I have to ask Wanya wife to able to take to take her out for the first date. Mm. Mm. Oh, when I do the video call to ask Wanya mom uh-huh. to take her out on the date. 
I asked her already. She said yes, but the Lord keep convincing me. You need to ask the parent. You need to ask the mm. parent. You need to ask the parent. And I, I, I have connection with Hannah. Yeah. Because I have a backup. Uh-huh. And then I say, okay, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> wow. Vanya say yes, but I need to ask permission from her mom. Mm-hmm. And I set a time that I talking to her mom to ask one question: Can I take your daughter out? Take me 30 minutes. Because I just going around, going around, going around. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to start. Uh-huh. <laughs> and like nervous. <laughs> you know, talk to the old people. It's like your p- parent. It's like very nervous. Mm. <laughs> and and that's that's made me feel like, yeah. She, she's <laughs> like, oh, you have something else to talking about my daughter? I say, okay, I want to ask your daughter out. But I asked her already. She said yes to going a date with me. Mm-mm. But I'm not gonna tell her that I love her. I just want to be friend with her. Mm, just uh. be clear. I'm not gonna ha- ask her to be my girlfriend or anything. Mm-hmm. Just be a friend to want to get to know her more. Mm. And my mom say, "Really? That's it?" <laughs> But say, I would say, if you're not giving permission for me to dating her, uh. I will not go. Mm. Uh. I will quit it. Mm. That even though she say yes already, if you're not giving permission, I will not. Right. Mm. And then she giving permission, but that's the key. When my wife, it was young, she prayed, Lord, whoever guy that want to date me a first time, that they ask my my father or my mother, ah. that is the guy. Mm. Ah. I get it. I get it. The uh-huh. Lord is so good. <laughs> and the Lord is okay. so good. Answer Amen. prayer to her. Mm-hmm. And also he telling me what to do. Mm. Wow. Like been asking. Mm. That's what I encouraging. Been asking. Mm. Life relationship is not easy. Mm. Right? That's why you need to ask. And the Lord will direct your path. Mm. Amen. Mm. That's really polite. And you don't even know the Filipino culture, but uh, that's uh, something that's very important to us, yeah. actually. Uh, an old school tradition, but uh, rare nowadays. And uh, parents will really appreciate doing that, uh, you doing that yeah. to, yeah. to uh, them. In relation, though, yeah. to, um, of course, wh- when we talked about the Bible earlier, okay, because growing up in a, a Buddhist background, mm-hmm. yes. of course, you were, you were not born into a Christian culture. Definitely, yeah. but you were introduced to it. Mm-hmm. Now, when you read the Bible for the first time, because now you know that you know the Bible is what, is, what the Bible is telling is happening, and mm-hmm. it's true. And um, when you first read the Bible, of course, you don't know that, and then you're opening your eyes and then yourself to for the first time to the to the Bible. And when you are experiencing this, even alongside with the, the other um, Cambodian people that you're trying to minister to. Were you amazed at how the Lord is telling you that everything that happened 2,000 years ago is happening in your country now? And um, were you excited because, Lord, what you were showing people then, you're showing us now we, in my people. Mm-hmm. Mm. So are, are you excited of the prospect that one day Cambodia is going to say, Jesus is our Lord? Yeah, and say one day, one day, Cambodian will be transformed in one generation. Mm. Mm. So, um, wh- when you f- when you first experience that, when 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 what the Bible is saying is becoming true to you, how did you react to that, and how did your life change basically once you knew that um, what the Bible is saying is yeah. true? Yeah, I get it. Uh, In, in Cambodia, we, we practice of the sin of the generation, generation. Mm. Example, mm. my grandfather making sin. Yeah. Mm. That sin will be passing to my ma- fa- father or mother. Uh. Mm. And that sin will be passed, 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 pass. I don't know what, when that sin will be end. That's mm. why we have to do something, do a good thing mm. to able to be, have a better life. Mm. Mm. That's how Buddhists teaching us way mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then make me scared mm. it's like when I'm become to be a Christian what what will happen mm. to the generation or curse that been passing on yeah. mm. but ah, uh-uh, 
and Jesus say in the Bible says very clearly that answer to my prayer uh, like my prayer or my question they say doesn't matter whoever doing sin and when the time that you receiving Jesus Christ as your Lord your Savior mm. and that sin will be taken away from mm. generation and generation and you will be blessing to a thousand generation I looking for a blessing mm. that God been promised for the thousand generation that what ahead of me mm. Mm. amen and that and is- and also a blessing the nation of Cambodia too through mm. my obedient that's all my prayer that Lord whatever you call me to be mm. I will do it with all my heart mm. please blessing my nation mm. uh-huh. especially my family mm. blessing them amen Wow that sounds uh, really uh, sincere prayer and of course that will happen as uh, predicted in the Bible that one day will come every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Amen. Amen. And uh, we are excited about that not only for Cambodians but also here in the Philippines and all over the world. Amen. So when we come back after a very short break we'll talk about the challenges that our brother faced as he served the Lord and maybe a life verse to share Mm -hmm. that encourages him all the time uh, every time he faces these uh, challenges Mm -hmm. so stay tuned for more here on Mango Mornings on Mango Radio we are communicating communicating the the love love of God. God I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love neither death nor life Neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans chapter 8 verses 38 to 39 This is Mango Radio communicating the love of God My brother is Dr. Gordon Mathis of Rocky Mount, North Carolina, and he's one of the funniest people I know. Hi, this is Ben Mathis for Rivers of the World, and he called me yesterday to tell me that he was communicating with me by the miracle of wireless telephone. And we had a good laugh, and it reminded me in these difficult days, hey, if you'd like me to drop by, Please know that we don't have to do it in person. We can do it by the miracle of wireless telephone. A couple of months ago, I got snowed in and couldn't make it to Eden, North Carolina, and they hooked me up to the pulpit, and I preached by telephone. You should have seen me walking around the house, looking off in the distance and trying to make my points, but we just had a ball. If you'd ever like me to come to a meeting by telephone, I would love to do that. I'm easy to find. I am Ben at row.org. Let's get together and communicate and praise the Lord. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Oh, hi. Isn't it wonderful to eat our favorite food and drink our favorite drink? Remember that day when we first tasted it? Well, how about the Word of God? Job had set an example in treasuring the Word of God. You can read that in Job 23 verse 12. It shows his dependence on his commands and had treasured his words more than daily food. Hmm. Well, treasure his word today. Here on Mango Radio, we are communicating the love of God. Rise and shine. Mango Radio. Your story. My story. The story of Christ on Mango Mornings. Hello, friends, and welcome back to a very, very powerful episode of Mango Mornings, the Friday edition. We are joined by Lang Kun, a YWAM worker all the way from Cambodia. 
and uh, you're still with your host Pastor JB, DJ Bernie and yours truly Aya. Mm-hmm. Yes. Before we jump back into our conversation kasi baka mangiyak-ngiyak tayo niyan. Uh. <laughs> basahin muna natin itong message from uh, this is from Ray Lascunia Ay. of Hello, Catalunan Ray. Pequeño. Sabi niya, excited ako every morning kung ano naman kaya ang maririnig kong good news from listening to Mango Radio. Thankful ako kay God kasi merong Mango Radio na nakaka-uplift. And he also says, I really like YWAM. Malapit sa puso ko ang YWAM kahit hindi nila ako member. So YWAM is close to his heart even though he's not officially a part of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe soon. No? One of these days, he will be. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Kuya Ray, for that uh, thoughtful message. And we are back uh, with our friend uh, Leng Kun from Cambodia, working with YWAM. And uh, we already gave you a preview of the question earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What were the challenges, the hardest times that you had to go through in serving the Lord in response to His call? Of course, together with your wife. And uh, maybe a, a verse that's close to your heart that you really are holding on to every time you are discouraged you recall that verse and make you feel better um looking back for sure many many challenges in life as serving the lord but i would say i will share one thing that we we are together me and my wife that I feel like the biggest thing that we we met uh, in 2022 in January we we lost our baby mm-hmm. that that is that baby Hadassah my Eldest Eldest. daughter, Mm -hmm. she put that baby name Adon, Mm. Adonira. Mm. It means that's what been I've been praying. If the Lord be giving me a son, Mm. we would love to putting his name Adonira Chatson because it it's the background of that name is the first missionary Mm. Baptist missionary going to Myanmar. Yes. Mm. That's what I we we want to put that name if we have a son. Mm-hmm. But when when we lost it, the baby, it's like about six six weeks. Mm. Mm. That's not that that's much old. And we lost it that baby. That's that's the time that it greeting it's so hard for us. We don't know what to do. Mm. Who the who that we can go to mm. and and I see my wife that she keep greeting for the loss and also Hadassah we tell Hadassah already that we, we have a baby Hadassah always always coming to touching the baby every day mm. Mm. Or touching, gentle, like embrace the baby and talking to the baby all the time. And it's so hard for my wife. For, for me, it's a, a little bit okay. Mm. But it's really hard for my wife because Hadassah always talking to the baby all the time. Mm. Even though the baby gone. And we, we keep explaining to her that I don't, it's not baby with mommy anymore. Mm. Uh-uh. Adon is being with Papa God because we love Adon as much that we love you. Mm-hmm. No, no love that we we can describe mm. about it. But it's like Hadassah keep she, she really good. Hadassah very smart. Mm. She mm. responded to she know oh Adon with Papa God not with mommy anymore. Mm. Mm. She always say it. Wow. When she miss Adon, she will always Adon with Papa God. Mm. Mm. It's not, it's not in mommy tummy anymore. Mm. 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 Then that 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 the time, that time, we we the time that we losing the baby because we doing a mission trip 
like long way uh-huh. of traveling, uh-huh. and maybe it can cause of uh, maybe not growing or uh-huh. anything because we traveling like 15 hour uh-huh. by bus. Okay, bumpy Whoa. road or yeah. anything. Yeah. yeah, we have to go to the mission because mm-hmm. like just have opportunity to serve in the Lord in that area. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is time that that's like. Our f- when we sharing to our friend, our friend try to be a policeman. Say, oh, looking to our timeline, what happened? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe you doing this, or you doing a long journey. That's why you losing your baby, or like blah blah. You early birth, you you lost it because of this, because of that, or maybe this reason, because that reason. Uh. Mm. But like rather than encouraging us. And telling us, they try to be uh, what's that investigation yes. in our case. Uh. Mm. And I was like, before they, before that, we sharing to them that I hearing the word from the Lord mm. say, Lane, I love your child more more than you. Mm. Like I love Adon mm. more than you loving Adon. Mm. Mm. Everything that I giving is a blessing, and everything that I taking is still a blessing. Mm. Yes. Taking and giving everything in my control. Mm. I love you both, and do not allow the people around you, even though you, so I feel like he point your finger at me. That even though you do not try to be a policeman investigation on your case, mm. <laughs> do not. Mm. Because because I'm the one giving to you, yeah. And now, that's it. A season. That's why I learning the word season. Mm. That season that I taking back is done. Mm. 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 Giving you that season, Mm-mm. and the season is done. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That's what it. But we are blessed that we living in community, Mm-mm. like have other people that yeah. they experience, they invite us to their house, they embrace us, mm-hmm. they yeah. talking, they process with us. Yeah, they support with, yeah, you. Supporting us. Yeah. That's really good that we have the people that embrace. And that's what we needed. Mm. Yeah. Uh. And don't have to talking about it, maybe treating us good meal that's okay too mm. <laughs> that's, yes. that's help too mm. yeah. we know what the Lord been talking to us we know we hold into his word mm. and they've been sharing the story what happened to them and what the Lord told them that we mm. can learning and through in that that thing that teaching me because I group of friends that try to be investigated mm. right yes. to tell me oh your fall or you doing this that, that. it's not talk about your fall but if you try to be investigated, mm. that means you're trying to find the problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right? Find the spot that make that mm-hmm. that you lose the baby. Mm. Right? That that is that is what has been hard that I've been teaching that's the Lord been teaching us that <laughs> we lose it, but we learn a great lesson. Mm. Mm. And whoever it's like in life it might be the peop- other people. They lost their baby too. Yes. Yeah. That we can speak it to them. Mm. We can encourage them. Yeah. We can embrace it them. We do different way. Mm-hmm. And we believe that God Himself, He the one that control. Yeah. He yeah. giving us a kid for a season, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm. We take care of them later on they be going by their own. Mm-hmm. But the season that He giving us to take care, that's it. Mm. Six weeks. Mm. Right, that's short. Yeah, we say short. Maybe six weeks is so long for him. Mm. A day for a thousand yes. years or something. Mm-hmm. But that that a story, and and I will share one more story relating to Anaya. Mm. Anaya, when when late of two thousand, say like Anaya. We know we're gonna take the mission trip to go into the same place that Adon is was lost. Ah. Mm. And now 15 hours again to oh. be on the bus. Before we leave, we know that we're pregnant with Anaya. Mm. Mm. 
my wife just like panic, mm-hmm. like anxiety. See, a uh, long trip again. I don't know how to <laughs> go. But that is the place that we, as me as a husband, I praying to to go into moving to the next season. Mm-hmm. But I was like a trick a little bit. When we arrive in that place, I will quick. When we arrive that place, my wife start to bleeding. Oh, cause like long trip yes. of riding, it can be caused all of that because like six yeah. six week. Mm-hmm. And when we go into the doctor, like why I'm teaching, I teaching in a school in that week. Mm-hmm. Okay. And on Wednesday, we realized that my wife say told me that she she bleeding, and mm. we I'm skip my teaching some someone else with mm-hmm. the staff in there take care of it. Yeah. And. And the, and when we go into the hospital to check, the hospital and they are not great, mm. not good yet, and they say our baby is die. Oh, again, mm. I kind of like greeting, and it's hard for me. Really, the place that I want to be here to mm. move in you to serve you a long term. Every time it's coming, uh, something happened with yeah. my family that mm-hmm. really you want me to be in here. Uh. Mm-hmm. That's my question. I'm not told her because like she overwhelmed with everything already, yes. right? And I pray this to the Lord, Lord, with open hand. I pray it with open hand. It's not closing my hand. You have to do it mm. that I will obey it. You, I'm moving my family to be here. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I would say, Lord, is this not the time that you don't want me to be in here yet? Mm. It's okay, but I pray that. You keep Anaya. If you want me to be in here, mm. and okay. the Lord keep Anaya, yeah. that's why we put her name Anaya because like Yahweh answer. Ah. That's what her name mean. Wow. Mm. That's what it mean. That right now in January we leaving Philippines and then we be going to Kokong, a new place to. Mm-hmm. To help with the team that they just two year pioneering the Y1 based in there, mm-hmm. that we will be a part of them. Mm-hmm. Wow, beautiful. Yeah. Now you chose Habakkuk chapter 319 as your life, life verse, verse. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes, which is actually powerful. Uh, can you please share with our listeners why did you um, choose that verse and how does it impact your faith? Can can you help to reading that one time, one yeah, more time? Yeah, in English it says, "God, the Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the deer's. He makes me tread on my high places." When we have a low time, mm. that the time that we always try to seeking the Lord, mm. and when we spending time as a family. We see that this is a season that this word, the Bible words, will be in our our encouragement, mm-hmm. our strength. Mm-hmm. Like you say, like the Lord is my strength. Mm-hmm. He will strengthen me like, like a deer. Like a deer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And He will raise me up into the top of mm. whatever that I want to be mm. because he with me yes. yes it's not because I am mm. expert it's not because I'm well trained mm. it's not because I choose it to be because of him mm. that's what I would say because of him and if I want to be going to the highest place I had to looking keep my eye on him mm. it's not on my experience it's not on my circumstances mm. and also it's not how we commit mm. yes. but always looking on him relying on him and follow his step that as his guide amen Mm. Thank you so much, brother. That's really powerful. Anyone you would like to greet before we wrap up today's episode? And I want to greet to the listener and my wife, 
my daughter Hadasa Anaya mm. Mm. and Wai Wamer that or the people like Wai Wam mm. Mm. want to be in Wai Wam for one day come and doing a training together with us that would be a beautiful and and the word that I believe it in here I would say keep continue to say when you commit it God we complete it yeah. mm. and love the people around you living the lies to be example to be the salt and light yeah do not take out the taste mm. of who you are away try to be pretend i'm not yeah. salty you are still <laughs> salty doesn't matter how you high you still be the salt mm-hmm. yeah and doesn't matter how you kept your life you still be the light mm. Mm. the light always make the way to be shine yeah amen, amen. Yeah. very true Brother, please encourage our listeners to support the ministry that you're doing for the Lord. And mm-hmm. uh, we're giving you this opportunity to support Y1. Okay. Uh, just be basic. Y1 is all about living, depend on the Lord. Mm. Maybe we have a lot of foreigners among us. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because we, we have a value that uh, working cross culture mm. and non-denomination. Mm. Everybody working together. Mm. As long you know that God called you to be. <laughs> mm. And we we living the life that we depending on the Lord. Mm. Like de- mm. depending on support. Yeah. If you praying for us or you want to be with partner with any YWAMER, mm. like want to supporting them because they working full time. They not going to work for other NGO company uh, or anything mm-hmm. they yeah. really basing on the Lord and supporting we call ourselves easy way we are Levi mm-hmm. you know what Levi mm-hmm. mean right yes. Levi living like for the Lord yes for the Israel life yes. that's mm-hmm. supporting them mm-hmm. that's what what who we are mm-hmm. and please praying for us especially in Cambodia we say we want to see one nation and one generation and the lord is speaking to me that i myself i can see it through my eye yeah in my old age maybe oh i can see in young age it mm. be better i still enjoy it mm. amen yeah amen at praying for cambodia we still if you want to be make a trip to plant the seed in cambodia Welcome, Cambodia very open and we always have a spot for you guys nice. to be a part of. Mm, nice. All right. Uh, well, brother, thank you so much once again for your time. And we had fun talking with you this morning. And of course, our listeners uh, enjoyed the, the testimony mm. that you shared with yeah. them. So once again, friends, that was uh, Leng Kun, our brother from Cambodia working with uh, YWAM. And let's continue to pray for him and uh, his wife, uh, Vanya, and their children. Mm-hmm. Amen. Uh, a few messages before we wrap things up. This is from Daday of Bangkerohan. Sabi niya, Dugay na jud ko, sige pamina o kada buntag. Uh, gikan 5.30, hantod 6.30. Salamat wow. jud nga. Anaa ang mango radio o daghan kalag ang mabusog sa mga pulong nga. Madumog. Amen. And si Char Barsenas, hello. Have a glorious Friday morning to my buddies of Mango Mornings, DJ Aya, Pastor uh, DJ Ber- JB, and uh, DJ Bernie. To God be the glory. God bless. And of course, Iku Yare Laskunya. Once again, thank you so much for listening. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, as a final note, no, sa to mga mothers, okay, greetings sa inyo. And uh, you are special in our hearts. And even though we won't be here tomorrow or, or Sunday, but do enjoy uh, your time and mm. um, enjoy being a mother because our world will never be complete without you. Mm-hmm. That's true. As we close, friends, uh, let us read once again Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 19, in which it says, The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to tread on the heights. It matters who you know, who created that deer so that his feet can be swift and can tread on the heights. Mm. The one who made us will sustain us. The one who is our maker is the one who will complete what he has called us to do. So get to know Jesus and your life will never be the same. You will always have the strength of the Lord to sustain you. And you can say... 
Life is worth the living because He, he lives. lives. Amen. Thank you, friends, for tuning in to this edition of Mango Mornings Friday Stories with Leng Kuhn, all the way from Cambodia. These are your hosts, Bernie, Pastor JB, and yours truly, Aya. Have a blessed weekend. We'll see you once again next week. Bye. <laughs>